you called yourself a serial pessimist in size and a serial optimist in how you show up in the world. Um, you're a mathematician by heart. You, you studied math, but you're a baker by spirit. Um, you know, obviously you had this extraordinary formal training, but yet you create cre uh, these creations that have this lighthearted playfulness. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what those contrasts look like in your life and how you think about them? Because it seems like those tensions, you know, just hearing you talk, it's like those, it's in those tensions where this magic lies. Yeah. I mean, that's where lightning strikes. That's where magic lives. It lives between the extremes that make each of us unique. And I think when we go back to like the business part of when you try to simplify something too much and you try to focus something too much and you try to be too singular minded and focused, you lose the sparks that exist in between all these realities. That's my approach. It's my belief. Um, and that magic, the, the magic exists. Magic exists everywhere. It's a matter of whether you choose to see it. Magic exists on the bad weekend that you had that your boss is like, tell me about it. Let's talk about it and laugh about it and celebrate it. Like those are all sparks and force, a force for good, force for force of energy, force of motivation and momentum. And when you were thinking about business on any level, it's really about how do I create magic through this lens of what I'm doing? Whether you're a service, whether you're a soft good, whether you're a hard good, you're trying to figure out how to make the magnetism that is your vision and your you and your team's work, how do you make that manifest in the world in a way that's sticky and compelling to people and true of people? And I think as much as possible, embracing the extremes of all of the different sides of what you are and what someone else is um, is really important.